screaming, insults, flying fists, tantrums. Unfortunately, scenes like this are becoming common at, of all places, kids' sporting events, and it's not the players we're talking about, it's the parents. In fact, it's a problem so big, leagues across the country and here at home are stepping up strategies to keep everyone safe. Nine in your side's Maggie Vespa has the story. Call the police! Call the police! We tell them it's only a game. <laughs> then time... You're insane! After time... That was my kid! fail to heed our own advice. Oh, oh my. It's brutal behavior so ingrained in our culture, even Hollywood has taken note. Hey, you just served a plate of humiliation. How does that feel? A misunderstanding between parents at a youth football game has gotten both teams banned from the playoffs. Among the most recent and extreme cases, a youth league football game near Seattle. These are nine and ten year old boys, and these are their parents breaking into a full on brawl. This as one child lay on the field with a broken arm. Yes, it's always the official's fault. Selena Marquez says she's not surprised. As a 22-year-old freelance referee, she's gotten enough sideline flack to last a lifetime. What are some of the worst examples that you can think of? People think I've called you something or said something to you. Um, I've, I've been, I mean, I don't know if I can say it, but I mean, I've, I've been called, the I've been called, um, I don't even know. I can't even think. I've probably been called everything in the book. And just last month at this West Side tournament, the ever controversial offsides call <laughs> gave our cameras a taste of what she's talking about. Bob Barton is area commissioner of the Arizona State Referee Association. He says cases like this are becoming so common, it's hard to keep referees on the field. In the past, we've sent parents away from the field for being abusive, but then they come back the next week. So this year they've introduced a new program. It's called Respect the Game. It's trying to change the thought process of the coaches and of the parents and the sidelines. It's basically a conduct contract, and if a parent doesn't sign, their kid doesn't play. In it, they promise things such as not to use profanity, to refrain from engaging in any verbal or physical abuse of coaches, referees, or players, and refrain from using drugs, alcohol, or tobacco products while involved in any youth soccer activity. Those who break the rules pay the price. The penalty for the first offense, watching an interactive training video on anger management. The second, a $250 fine to be paid to the league. The third offense, a $500 fine and a one-year suspension from any league activity. Parents we spoke to had mixed feelings on the need for such a program. It just seems like the older kids and uh, some of the traveling teams get a little feistier than others. And it makes the league look bad and the team look bad. I want to emphasize, I don't think it's an enormous problem. I don't see it that often. But Barton says sadly the extra paperwork provides necessary protection so that kids can just play. Maggie Vespa, Pagan Not, on your side.